क्वेश्चन वन कंस्ट्रक्ट ट्राइंगल एक्स वाई जी इन विच एक्स वाई इक्वल्स फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर वाई जी इक्वल फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड जी एक्स इक्वल सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन विद द थ्री साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट आर एम आर एम इज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट वॉट ट्राइंगल एक्स वाई जी वेयर एक्स वाई विल बी ऑफ फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर वी आर जस्ट टेकिंग इट फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ वाई जी इक्वल्स फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड जी एक्स इक्वल सिक्स सेंटीमीटर and you have studied in this chapter that if three sides are given then the construction is very easy now let's move on to the steps of construction a part draw a line segment yz equal 5 cm so you can take any of the line segment but always try to take the whole number that is you will not take 4.5 because it's easy to deal with whole numbers while measuring on scale so this is your scale or ruler and this is compasses will put your scale and measure a distance of 5 cm that is from this point to this point but for the representation this figure is enlarged so you will draw a line segment measuring 5 cm and name it as yz you can name it in either direction that is the z can be this this could also be written as y therefore a is done now step b taking z as center and radius 6 cm draw an arc If you have taken Z this side, you will consider this side. While well, we have taken on this side of this line segment, you will fix this needle here and open your compass till six centimeter, and put your needle then here and draw an arc like this. That is your B part. Now see, similarly taking Y as center. Now this time you will take Y as center and adjust your compasses to a length of four point five centimeter. That is, it will lie somewhere here, four point five centimeter, and Put the needle here and draw an arc such that it must intersect the previous drawn arc at point X. You will name that intersection point as X. Let's just see. Now you just join X Y and X Z. That is, you just join X Y and X Z, and that will give you a required triangle of the given measurement. So what we have done here. that we have taken three sides and measured it with the help of compasses and just drawn it and the principle that governs this construction is that sum of any two sides of a triangle will always be greater than the third side so that is your first question second construct an equilateral triangle of side 5.5 cm here it is very simple we have to draw an equilateral triangle where side is given to you as 5.5 cm we'll just do the same steps as we did in previous question first of all what we have to construct that is your aim you have to construct a triangle where all the three sides namely ab bc and ca equals 5.5 cm it doesn't matter if you write first ea or cb or ac all are the same thing but always try to follow the alphabetical order now steps of construction you will pick your ruler measure your distance of 5.5 cm and draw a line segment name it as bc or whatever you want to name it that is your first part now second you will use your compasses and ruler and adjust the radius of that compasses to a distance of 5.5 cm and put the needle on either of this side and draw an arc and then again without changing the radius because distance is same since we are constructing an equilateral triangle now you put middle here and intersect in arc wherever it intersects name that point a and connect all the three points that's what we did in these both steps and that will give you an equilateral triangle with equal side measuring 5.5 cm again the same principle that is sum of two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side so that is your second question third draw triangle pqr with pq equals 4 cm qr equals 3.5 cm and pr equals 4 cm what type of triangle is this here the aim is to construct a triangle pqr in which pq measures 4 cm qr measures 3.5 cm and pr measures 4. cm so first of all always write your aim in geometrical constructions you're done with the aim now First of all, we will draw a line segment QR measuring 3.5 cm. Here, earlier we have stated that it is always better to take whole numbers, but this time we are taking decimal number. 
because when we observe this question we have two sides equal which will give us an isosceles triangle so in order to construct it in symmetrical way we have taken 3.5 cm in our first step so we have taken 3.5 cm using ruler and naming the sides as QR now step B taking Q as center and radius 4 cm draw an arc now you will adjust your compasses to 4 cm and put needle on point Q and draw an arc while drawing an arc this must be large enough so that another arc drawn from another side would intersect it now doing the same step you don't have to change the side because other side is also 4 cm put your needle on point R and intersect an arc at P that is your C now just join EQ and PR and you will get an isosceles triangle EQR because the question was asking in the second part that what type of triangle is this well it is an isosceles triangle and what are the properties of an isosceles triangle two sides are equal and base angles are also equal that is your third question fourth construct triangle ABC such that AB equals 2.5 cm BC equals 6 cm and AC equals 6.5 cm measure angle B here the aim is to construct a triangle ABC in which AB is given to you as 2.5 cm BC equals 6 cm and AC equals 6.5 cm and the second part is you have to measure angle B obviously with the help of protractor now steps of construction again first of all we'll draw a line segment BC equals 6 cm because as we stated earlier we will like to have the whole part and we have also observed it is not appearing as to be any kind of known triangle to us at the first look that is your A you know how we did it we just took the ruler and measured it to a distance of 6 cm and put a line and name it as BC now step B taking B as center and radius 2.5 cm draw an arc now you will take your B as center measure your compasses to a distance of 2.5 cm put the needle here and draw an arc like this that's your B now for the third side you will take C as center this time put needle here and Measure a distance of 6.5 cm using ruler and compasses and draw an arc that intersects your previous arc and name this point as A. That is C. Now just join AB and AC with the help of ruler and you have drawn the required triangle. Now you have to measure this with the help of protractor. Well, when you observe this, you put your reference point of the protractor here. When you measure it it turns out to be 90 degree that's why it is represented with this square box because 90 degree is represented with square box so here you have two principles that is sum of two sides are always going to be greater for instance if you take it here this is 6.5 centimeter and this is 2.5 centimeter and 6 centimeter so it will give you 8.5 centimeter so it will be true for any of the sides taken another principle is Pythagoras theorem that is sum of squares of these two sides equals 6.5 square if you do so you will get they are equal which is Pythagoras principle so without the help of protector you can also find this angle so the required angle measure is 90 degrees that is your last question question number fourth 